Hi, I'm Callie King from CRK Training and I'm back for today's video with Whoopie Pie again. And in this video, we are going to um, answer a request from one of our viewers. And this was actually in response to a comment that was posted on the How to Ride a Lazy Horse video. So a question came in, um, you know, could you make a video on how to ride a horse that doesn't want to stop? So I thought, sure, that would be an interesting one to make a video on. And before I start, I want to kind of intro this with saying that if I have a horse that truly doesn't want to stop and is that fidgety and forward and I feel like I, you know, they're not stopping when I ask them, I don't really ride them. So I'll get off and I'll fix it on the ground and I'll do some of the groundwork that I talked about in my other videos, like the one in how to calm down a hot horse. I will try to tackle those issues before I get on the horse. So I'll get them relaxed and I'll get them responsive um, before I'm on their back. And if I'm on their back and they start escalating and I feel like I can't stop them, I'll get off and I'll work through it again from the ground. So that's basically my philosophy but what I wanted to give you in today's video is just talk through a little bit about how do you ride a hot horse? Um, what can you do with you know, your posture, with the way that you ride, just the mechanics of it to help stop a horse, to help calm a horse down. And then we're just going to end with a, uh, a little trick that you can use in an emergency if you need to stop a horse. Okay, so I chose to use Whoopie Pie for this because she is um, kind of, you know, I, I hadn't ridden her for a while. I started her last year, hadn't ridden her for a while, and she's just kind of getting back into the program. And she can be a little bit of a nervous Nelly, so sometimes she does get quick when I ride her, and she does take more to stop than some of my other horses. All right, so let me just start by letting her walk out here. So I also want to say that I like all my horses to stop with just my seat. So I want to be able to, oh, see, she's already getting a little nervous. I want to be able to just sit down, breathe out, and stop my movement and have the horse stop. If I'm using rain to stop one of my horses, in my opinion, um, you know, I've got a little more work to do. So I don't want to have to use rain every time that I ask a horse to stop. So what I'm going to do with a more nervous type of horse like her, as you can tell she's getting a little bit escalated in this corner, is I just try to remain really relaxed. So I do that by, for one, I concentrate on breathing deeply and breathing down into my stomach versus deep breaths into my chest. So this keeps me relaxed and this lowers my center of gravity. I'm also going to try to get her attention on me by doing some things like some small circles, asking her to bend a little bit, some change of directions. Anything I can do to help her calm down and relax. And what I'm going to do is when I feel her kind of, you know, take a deep breath and relax a little under me, even for, even if it's just for a second, girl, that's what I'm going to give her a little bit of praise. And if I've got a situation like this, where we kind of have a scary corner up here that's triggering her, I'm going to try to tackle it indirectly. So I'm going to slowly work closer to it and I'm going to in a sense, kind of ignore it, and I'm not going to give attention to it, because what happens if I start staring up there too, it's just going to put it even more in her head that there's definitely something to be worried about up in that area. So I'm going to pretend that, you know, that scary area doesn't exist, and we're just going to kind of slowly work by it. Okay, so let me get back to the original uh, the original topic of this video, which is stopping. So I'm going to go ahead and ask her to stop here. I'm going to breathe out, stiffen up, and then squeeze my reins and ask her to stop. Good girl. Now another thing that I'll do with the horse that doesn't like to stop 
is I'll do a lot of stopping and standing because for some nervous horses, um, if you can get them to stop and to stand here without jigging around, that is actually a huge, um, a huge victory essentially and a breakthrough. So I'll stop, I'll ask them to stand and I want them to learn to look forward to stopping. So they get to the point where they see that stopping means I get to just stand here and relax. Now, if you have a really nervous horse, that might be tough. You might end up doing more little circles. You might end up having to do something like this, where if they won't stand, you bring their nose around and the horse, you know, when they kind of spin in little circles, you just kind of softly hold their nose there until they stop and then you praise them. And again, you build on the small successes. So even if you can only get a, a few steps of them or a few minutes or a few seconds of them standing still, and then you let them walk a little bit and then you ask for that stand still again and you praise them while they're there and you just think about relaxing and you help teach the horse that being still is okay and that it's a good thing. So if the horse has busy feet and they're all over the place and they constantly want to move, it means that there's a lot going up there in their head. I don't know, I don't remember where I heard this, but it's so true that busy feet equals a busy mind. And for our horses to be focused and to be trainable and to be enjoyable to ride, we want their their brains to be more still and more focused on us, not thinking about everything that's going on in their surroundings. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can ask her to stop up here towards the scary area. Same thing, I'm gonna breathe out. Slow my movement, good girl. Good girl. Now you can see up here, she's not quite as relaxed as she was down there. So I'll let her stand for a little bit and then we'll walk forward again. Now, if I was asking her to stop and she just wouldn't stop, she pushed against the bridle and she just kept walking forward. This is how I would you know, basically increase my aids. So the first thing I would do is I would take a stronger feel of the bridle and then if I needed to, I would probably send her right into a little circle. So I would do something like this if she wouldn't stop. Good girl. And then as soon as she does stop, I would praise her. So I like using those circles to kind of redirect the energy and to get the stop without just getting really strong in their mouth and fighting with their mouth. And again, like I said at the beginning of the video, when I really have a problem with this, I get off and I work on it from the ground. So that's why you know, you're know you not gonna see me riding a lot of horses that have trouble stopping because most of the time I've done enough groundwork with them that they're tuned in and um, you know we're just not gonna have that problem when I get on. Okay, so the last thing that I wanna show you is, as I promised, your emergency stopping maneuver, which is basically what I just did, but I'm gonna show it to you from a trot so you get a little better feel of if you had a horse that was you know, starting to almost like run away with you and you couldn't stop them, this is how you would do it. Okay, so we're trotting here. If I asked her to stop and she wouldn't respond, what I'm gonna do is sit back, sit deep. I'm gonna pull this rein towards my hip and I'm gonna hold it here. And I'm, the whole time that she's walking around in this little circle, I'm gonna think about dropping my weight down, relaxing, lowering my energy to help her relax. And I'm just gonna wait until she stops. Good girl, and then I'm gonna praise. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you with, um, you know, with your nervous horse or that your horse that doesn't want to stop. And if you have any questions, certainly put them in the comments. Um, tell me if this helped you with your problem. And also, if you haven't been over there, make sure to go over to crktrainingblog.com so that we can send you free updates. We'll see you there.